Hey, what's going on, Fragrance family? This is Tyler, Simply Fragrances, and today I'm bringing you my full review over Fig Noir from Ubigon. So if you want to see what my thoughts on this fragrance are, be sure and keep it right here. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Tyler. This is my channel, Simply Fragrances, where we talk everything fragrance related. If this is your first time, welcome. We are now family. Be sure and hit that red subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love and support you've shown this channel. So, guys, huge shout out. Got to give a couple of shout outs here. So, first and foremost, want to thank uh, the Paris Group for sending this my way. Great company uh, to work with and, you know, super fast and super friendly, very professional. So, um, their, um, their uh, information, it'll be linked in the description below guys their website everything that you need to know will be linked in the description so be sure and go pay them a visit and then also a huge shout out to my friend Greta um, you know for putting them on my radar and then vice versa putting uh, me on their radar so really do appreciate that Greta that really does mean a lot so um like I said, guys, this is from the uh, the Paris group, but from the house of Ubigan. Um, I do believe that either um, they own that or they are partnered with that. So um, that is why um, the Paris group is listed. So anyways, like I said, guys, this was sent to me, but this is not going to deter my honest and full thoughts. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the review. All right, guys. So just like any review, I'm going to start with the box and bottle presentation. I have a little B-roll footage for you there, but uh, going into the box presentation, really do like it guys it's just you know it's a very sleek sophisticated kind of um, presentation it's got this real nice kind of matte black uh, box here with this you know silver almost looks like a, a woven basket kind of pattern and then fougere noir right in the front and then obviously ubigant paris and then on the bottom of it it's going to have a little you know safety information then ingredients a little bit more information about the house and then same thing on the back side as the front and then up top not too much going on there is a little um you know H for Ubigant and then on the sides nothing too much but it does have this more info little QR code so uh, if you want to get more information about it recommend scanning that I think that's a super awesome touch so overall real nice sleek box presentation and then going into the bottle so this is going to be the 100 ml or 3.4 fluid ounces now this does retail for 210 US dollars or 160 euros on the website so you know it is you know, a, a fairly expensive fragrance, but in my opinion, you get what you're paying for, but we'll get into that just here in a second. So real nice, um, kind of hefty glass. I really do appreciate that. I love whenever something feels like it has weight to it. it, makes you feel like you're holding something that's made with quality, you know, ingredients or, you know, quality glass. So real nice squared pattern there. And it does have this kind of frosted uh, glass, you know, woven basket pattern, just like on the box and then Fougère Noir in the front. And then what's really cool, this little squared cap, really do like that. Same little, um, you know, woven basket pattern. It does say Ubaga on the side, but the the uh, the cap actually has a nice little weight to it. So really do like that. And then I'll go ahead and give you guys a spray here for the atomizer. So real nice distribution, um, you know, nice, nice atomizer on that. So do appreciate that. But overall, real nice presentation, really sleek and elegant, kind of classy, low sophisticated. Really do appreciate the bottle presentation. So let's go ahead and get into the notes. All right, guys, so getting into the notes um, at the Ubagant uh, website, like I said, everything will be listed in the description below, uh, the Paris group and then the Ubagant Paris uh, website, but I'm going to read directly from the website. So in the top, guys, you're going to get fig leaves, cardamom, cloves, and black pepper. In the mid, you're going to get black fig, iris, and jasmine. And then in the base or heart notes, you're going to get cedarwood, patchouli, and fig as well. So guys, obviously, this is a very you know a figgy fragrance if you will i love the note of fig gonna open up super bright and fresh it does have kind of this green uh herbaceous spicy note kind of to it in the opening but very very um just spicy with that that pink uh, that sorry the black pepper and the cardamom in there and that fig it kind of gives it almost a citrus quality you know it kind of you know fools the brain a little bit to think there's a citrus but really it's that fig and it kind of has this more juicy fruity kind of quality 
personality to it. And then in the mid, that jasmine, that iris, they do play a little factor into it, but it's really not going to be something super floral. Um, but they do just kind of help smooth uh, things out just a little bit and round it out. Kind of takes that, you know, that spicy edge and just kind of smooths it out. And then obviously anything with jasmine, I'm super hyped for one of my all time favorite fragrance notes. So um, I can pick up on that right away, but that's just because I love jasmine so much. And then in the dry down, it is going to take a kind of a more a woody turn. You still get that fig in there with that kind of spicy nuance, but that cedar really does take precedence, at least off of my skin and from my experience with this fragrance. It gives it just this woody masculine, uh, you know, kind of a tone to it. So overall, guys, very, you know, woody, spicy. Um, don't think citrusy, but think more fruity, uh, kind of a juicier, fruity kind of a vibe to it with kind of this green nuance in the opening. Very fresh and invigorating. Um, you know, dare I say, you know, effervescent or bubbly almost with, you know, that kind of green freshness that it has. So, um, you know, at least that's my experience with this fragrance. I get just uh, this beautiful picture, guys, of just a beautiful spring day. I don't know why I get this, but maybe... You know, it's just, you know, per it being a fig, but I almost kind of see this fig tree in a field with, you know, like almost like a, like a mountainous range in the background. Just, you know, maybe that's for more of the kind of woodier aspects to it, but just a beautiful spring day, you know, clear blue skies, sun is out, you know, in this beautiful fig tree next, uh, next to kind of like this hilly mountainous, uh, landscape. And so, um, that's kind of the picture that I get with this guys. It is absolutely a fantastic, phenomenal fragrance. So um, really, really do love this fragrance. Let's go ahead and get into times and occasions to wear this as well as the projection and longevity. So I did forget to mention this is a uh, EDP concentration. So uh, I do want to preface that, but guys, the times and occasions to wear this. So for me, um, this is, you know, just my personal recommendation. This is, you know, a great all year round kind of fragrance, but I do think if you live, you know, at least in like the Southern United States or, you know, even further down South into other countries and whatnot. Um, you know, in the summertime, if you get something that's really super hot and humid, this might be a bit thick and spicy, um, you know, but I do think that, you know, it can still be worn. It just maybe dial back on the sprays a little bit. But other than that, I do think this is a great all year round uh, kind of fragrance. But for me, it just, it makes me think of, you know, early spring and early summer before it starts to get like, you know, super hot. You still have beautiful, you know, days outside and it's not muggy or sticky this it just it kind of invokes that in my opinion it said all year round kind of a fragrance even into the fall those you know kind of spicier uh, nuances and in, even into winter before it gets super cold those kind of woody spicy attributes would play uh, very well into those kind of climates but uh, you know the occasions to wear this guys honestly you can wear this really kind of anywhere it's it's kind of got that you know ease of wear to it but i do think that this it just it deserves a little bit of a you know not formal occasion but dressed up occasion you know, great for the office great for a date night or a business meeting something like that or if you're going to go out and you know you know have a good time with the boys or you know uh, the girls whoever um you know you guys are going to go out and just have a good time night out on the town and you got like a polo or you know a nice buttoned up shirt that's the kind of you know presence that this gives off to me you can just wear this you know going to the store running a couple errands or whatnot but it just it makes you kind of want to dress up a little bit it's kind of masculine you know kind of not quite fougere but almost fougere uh quality to it so in my opinion you know maybe save it for more of like a you know a great office fragrance or a date night or you know something where you're going to be you know dressed up just a little bit even like a you know a nice you know a uh, shirt like this with like a sports coat or something like that i think that you know that would fit the bill just fine so um go Going into the longevity and excuse me, the overall projection guys for the first hour and an hour and a half guys, you are pumping. Like I'm kidding you not like just after three or four sprays guys, I was filling up a room. My wife is like, wow, you smell really strong. It smells good, but this is some strong stuff. So for the first hour to hour and a half, you really are pushing out a good arm's length, if not even a little bit more, at least that's my experience with this fragrance. Um, and then after that to around the two hour marker, so it does start to set in just a little bit closer to the skin, but even still guys, you're pushing out a good three to four inches so you do have a nice little scent bubble around you so 
you know, if you're going to be in close proximity with people, maybe dial it back to like two to three sprays. That's really all you would need. At least that's my experience with the fragrance. But if you're going to be out and about, you know, and you're doing, you know, four, five, six, seven sprays, who knows? Um, you know, I do think that you can get away with it. Just, you know, like I said, maybe be a little bit, uh, you know, precautious of who's around you. So um, other than that, guys, uh, great longevity, great performance. Um, I'm getting honestly anywhere from eight to 12 hours. I know that's kind of a, you know, a broad, you know, range of time, but depending on the sprays that you do, if you do three to four, you're getting around that eight to 10. If you do five to six, seven, whatever, um, then obviously you're going to be getting more into that 12 hour mark. So um, overall, guys, very great uh, fragrance. Really do love this one. It's something that I highly recommend, especially if you like more barbershop fougere style fragrances, something in that kind of a vein. So overall, great fragrance. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for my review over Fig Noir from Ubagan or you know the Paris company. Like I said, they're going to be linked in the description below. Be sure and pay them a visit. Great company to work for. Super fast and super friendly. Very professional. And again, a huge shout out to Greta for sending me their way and then uh, them my way. So, <laughs> but anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of this fragrance. This was released uh, just last year in 2022. So kind of a newer acquisition uh, to their collection. But uh, overall, very great fig fragrance. If you like fig, this is definitely something that I highly recommend. So uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you've tried this or if this intrigues you, let me know in the comments. I'm going to catch you in the comment section. I'm also going to catch you on the next video. And remember, if you love it, wear it.